Hello again, this is what we're going to be drawing today. It's a 3D broken down rusting post apocalyptic car. Um, the inspiration for this is from a YouTuber I was watching. Well, it's loosely inspired by, he's called um, Venomous Leopard, I believe. Um, I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description. It's quite cool. He builds like post apocalyptic cities and stuff. It is quite cool, it's worth a watch. But yeah, so I'll show you how to draw it. Okay, so this is what I'm starting off with. It's like a loose uh, pencil sketch of a car. Um, so you're not going to draw this. It's just to help me because drawing 3D cars, I found that it really like pushed my my limits of drawing skills because uh, I I rarely draw 3D. I usually draw 2D, so... It took a while to get this right, so, and I'm still kind of struggling to get it right, but yeah. We're going to start with a simple shape like that, so it's, uh, like, this is going to be the bumper. We're going to add the number plate onto it in a second, or maybe at the end. That's then the rest of the front of the car. The bonnet is just two lines coming out at, a, like, an angle a little bit lower than 45 degrees. Then, with about the same angle, uh, again, you've got to remember that this is getting higher than this, so about the same angle you're going to make the rest of the bonnet. You don't need a protractor to work this out, it's just kind of roughly. The wheel is pretty simple, it's just three circles with some bolts around the middle. Then, I've done the tyre, like the front of the tyre looking a bit weird, so it looks like the tyre's coming out, because this is, this is in the apocalypse, so it's broken down, it's been here for like maybe 50 or 100 years. Top of the bonnet, the windscreen, then I'm just going to add some like cracks to the glass, so they're going to be coming from like the corners diagonally opposite each other. There's the uh, line going over the top, and then simply one line that just meets the back one. One line curving down, then you've got to make like a step, so this is going to be the boot, and then this is going to be the uh, boot lid. Wheel number two, I've done it wonky deliberately. One big shape for the side windows. Cut the whole thing in half with one line. Then for the doors, the the like shape of the doors, it's got to follow the the wheels, so it's going to be something like that. And then with the line in the middle, you've got to make it into... Like the line you see in between the two windows. There's the line at the back, and I've deliberately not filled this line in. I'm going to show, I'm going to say why in a minute. So then this is the outline for the bonnet. I'm going to make like some black bits in it, just to make more well, like thicker areas of the line, just to show how it's dented. Those are the headlights at the front, intake fan, bent number plate. Then just a little bit of a hint at the side front wheel. Just a few more cracks on the windows, and then if you want, I'm going to add them in. I'm going to put some bullet holes, just a, a hint to some conflicts that have been going on between the surviving tribes or surviving uh, groups. So, before I show you how to colour in this car, we're going to do the decorations around the car. So, these are just some um, like tin cans and rocks that I've put around the car. Now we're going to give it some grass. This is why I didn't fill in the line in between these two wheels, because I want the grass to look like it's growing up the side of the car. Because uh, it looks cool. So I'm just going to um, make out uh, an area around the car. If you want, you can uh, add some shrubs and bushes. So I'm going to do some, some tall ones, and some that are basically just... They look like wheat. So that's the base around the car done, so now I'm going to add some rust, so with like a light brown pencil in between the areas, so where the doors are, and the like frame around the bonnet and stuff, um, places like that I'm going to make rusty. Uh, just remember, uh, depending on how much rust you put on the car, it's going to show how old the car is, so this car is about maybe 30 or 40 years old, but... If I wanted to make it 100 years old, I would just cover the whole thing in rust, so there wouldn't be any colour showing. So I went over the rust with a darker brown pen, and then that's done. 
So then with a pencil colour and the windscreen and headlights, and then with uh, around the bullet holes, just add in all the metal that it's uh, like scraped up, I guess. There we go, that looks cool. The bumper plate and tyres are going to be like a dark grey. And then for the like moon shapes on the inside of the tyres, and then the back wheel is going to be like a darker grey because of shadow. Also, that bit there on the front is supposed to be dark grey, and then depending on what colour you've chosen to do your car, you're going to colour the rest in. I'd recommend doing it in a pencil, just to show that the colour's faded, but I like mine being white, so what I'm going to do is just shade it a little bit, just, just to show that the white isn't as clean as it was. So I'm going to give it some scratches, and I think that will be it. I think that's done. So... Here are some other ideas that you could do. So you could do like a New York taxi, or if you're feeling experimental, maybe try and flip the car entirely and try to do a different one. You could do a van, or maybe a bus or something. Or if you are feeling really, um, you know, experimental, you could try and do like a broken down tank like I've done here. So maybe you could find bullets in that or something. Maybe it was used by the military during the apocalypse, like they were trying to get civilians out, or maybe fend off zombies and it got knocked out of action. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will try and upload within the next decade. Um, bye.